is actually safe, because there's another study that show that despite your statement, that there is actually a connection that occurs between the heat trap and the surface drawing. But it, it, it does come up in certain areas. So how do you protect it? Well, first off, we got to talk a little bit about the Duke study because all the Duke data never came out. The stuff they did in New York State never came yeah, out. Yeah, he did. But he actually went to uh, Chesapeake CEO, and he, a, he also went to Duke, and he actually asked him, you know, can you dispute this? And he could. So I think mean, it's pretty valid. Well, I can't dispute it, and he's never come to it. So anyway, but the, the Duke study, the, the gas that you're talking about in the upper layers of water, okay, is naturally occurring gas. Now they can say no, it's biogenic, thermogenic. I took the study show that it was from. There's the there's there's an nice isotopic there's an isotopic study done by Columbia University that goes far further than most of the isotope work done, and they can pinpoint exact formation. Nobody wants to spend the money to do that. So basically, what they do is they talk about source rocks, Devonian, Upper Devonian, and these other things. Let me finish my explanation so you understand where I'm going because. The likelihood of anything from down base getting up here is zero. Okay? Well, there was let, let, me, let, let me finch. No, no, let, let, me, me, let, me, let me comment on that because you're saying that nothing could come up, but right. study after study is showing that it does come up. Even in Wyoming. No, it doesn't. Even in Wyoming. No, nope. let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, I'll tell. Let me the, explain the familiar Wyoming stuff. Yeah, familiar. I mean, that's, okay, that's exactly here. Right. I'll give, I'll give you the layman's, the layman's drawing of the Pavilion Wyoming study because a lot of people, I, I got confused. I said, how could you have all this stuff communicate? What well, was easy? Here's the surface. Here's the base of the study area. Okay, I'm gonna, this is going to really be simple. If you go into the EPA review, okay, essentially what you have is layers of rock in here. Okay, here's a water well. Here's a gas well. Here's a water well. Here's a water well. Here's a water well. Here's a gas well. Okay? These wells are fracked. This, remember, water well. Okay? The zone that was completed in Pavilion, Wyoming actually bears both the gas and the water. The likelihood of those two formations, that communicating, is very high. Even anyone in this room can figure out if you have a gas well, Okay, in a water zone, the likelihood of the water and gas mixing is pretty common. A lot of areas throughout this country, and even parts of Pennsylvania, if you cross the border into New York, okay, a lot of the water wells are in what's called the Bradford Formation. You cross the border into Pennsylvania, what do we produce out of Bradford? Oil. Oil and water and gas are commonly occurring together. Okay, I mean, did, let me explain. Wait, wait, they actually had two sampling wells look, that look. check the contamination from the surface and sampling wells check the contamination from these. And the two are isolated from each other. And I think your statement is wrong. No, my statement is not wrong. If you look at the cross section, <laughs> you, 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 dig, you dig out the cross section and you analyze what they show you. You will come to your own conclusions. I will bet your conclusions aren't far off of this. You have to look at what's presented. If I drill, if I drill a gas well into a water zone, I can get both gas and water. That's what happens. In Dimmick, Pennsylvania, the upper zones down to about 600 feet, okay, contain both gas and water. What the companies drilling in the Dimmick area try to do, New York's a little different, but Pennsylvania at the time when Cabot started their drilling didn't really have requirements that said, look, if you drill and you drill into natural gas, even at shallow formations, you can't drill any further. You have to case. Pennsylvania's rules, they wanted essentially at the time what their guidelines were, is they wanted you to drill to the depth and set surface casing to protect these water zones. What they didn't realize in drilling in the Dimmick area is there was also some shallow shales that contained gas. So what happened when they drilled down <coughs> to set this casing point, they drilled to water and gas. Once those two started to commingle, and that gas basically has the same isotope analysis as the gas down here, okay? And it's been, I, 
look, there are a lot of studies out there, but step back and start to think like somebody that understands what's going on. When you have, when you have things going down, look, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not an insult. What, what happens is people try to change. You're talking about the welfare of this community. I, and I am. Uh, let me Where explain. Water and air. And are you two? Are you two going to lose your family? Please. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Oh.